Are you ready for some good times on this Wacky Monday? I'm already yes. saying it's going to be Wacky Maddie. It's, wacky Maddie. It, there is no mundane Monday over here. No, I'll not tell at you all. <laughs> Welcome to the show. I'm Jeremy Rabe. And I'm Maddie Conklin. <laughs> oh, we're just being silly already on this Monday. We just I just posted this photo to our Ozarks Fox AM story on uh, Insta. <laughs> but let's reenact it for me. Ready? Here's okay. what we did. Ready? Already. I, I, I can be silly and goofy when I need to be, and that was one of those moments. And <laughs> she was checking like her hair and makeup, and I just kind of photobombed it, and I was like, and I was just like hmm. as you do on a Monday. So you get one, one side of Maddie and Jeremy and mm -hmm. another side of Maddie and Jeremy. There you go. By the way, how was, how was your Easter? It was good. I, I did some exploring this weekend. Mm -hmm. I went to Sequiota Park, checked out the caves, did the walking pass, went to the rock, got mm -hmm. the cauliflower pizza. Thank you. You're welcome. It was so good. Oh, gosh. Wait, what kind of pizza did you get? I did the pepperoni sausage and mushroom, I believe nice. it was. And then my fiance got um, the, the little st steak medallions. Oh, yes. Ate the entire thing. I was like, As you should. we're going to be walking after this. We're going to be weighed <laughs> down. He's like, I don't care. It's so good. It's I'm so like, good. okay, you, can, you do you, boo. <laughs> <laughs> How was your weekend? Oh, it was fine. I, um, I cut down four trees in my yard, then made some firewood from it. Then blew some kind of circuit in my house, and the outlets in my basement would not work. So I spent three and a half hours yesterday trying to figure out where the uh, problem was. Still don't know, but yet magically, they're working now. Okay. Hey, if don't. it starts working, don't touch it. Just I'm leave serious. it be. I took apart every <laughs> single outlet. The lights were working. The outlets were not, but on the same breaker. Yeah. That's what's so weird. It was not the GCFI uh, outlet. I mean, we went through every... Anyway, it's working now. You checked high. You checked low. Everything in between. You're right. It was a stressful three and a half hours because I'm like, I, we don't, I don't, I wired the house. Yeah. I passed inspection. I know where every wire goes. You and my stepbrother will get along. He works. Oh, I electric. can't wait to meet him. Yes. <gasps> Ooh, we'll talk shop. Exactly. Talk some shop. We'll talk shop. <laughs> uh, by the way, too, guys, I just want to prep you guys for what's happening today. Um, I reviewed a show last week called Jury Duty, which I love. Mm -hmm. And Maddie watched it. That makes two. Maddie loves it. Guess what I have today in real life? Jury duty. Jury duty. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he, so, gets, he gets to live out his top 10 favorite shows in real life, people. Yes, today. <laughs> so I will be here for the first hour. Yes. And then I'm going to leave to go to jury duty, do my civic duty. Oh, my. I know. <laughs> so Jessica Miller's coming in to co-host with Maddie Which for I'm the second hour. Yeah. But I was like, I've been called like three times but never actually had to go because oh, I call wow. the number mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, we don't need you. Nope. Called last night. I'm number 29 of 350 oh. that have to go today. So I'm hoping 29 is closer to the beginning, and they can be like, you're excused, yeah. hopefully. If anybody from the courthouse is watching, can you please ex excuse me, please? I, I was going to say, is that how wrong to say? you talk about jury duty? Am I allowed to talk about it? I don't well, even know. I think that you're talking about it. You're a public figure, so maybe. I'm just saying just I work at a news station. Maybe. I'm not trying to do anything illegal. I'm just like, I don't, I don't, if they call me, of course I will serve, yes. and I will do my absolute best to be, what's the word? Um, a juror. Impartial. Impartial. Unbiased. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whatever the Impartial case, is a good word. Whatever the case may be. Jesse, have you been called for jury duty? Never in my life. And I'd love for it to stay that Knock way. Knock on wood. So. <laughs> but you know what I think it is? I think it's from, like, I, I, of course, I'm uh -huh. the person who does my civic duty every election day and votes mm -hmm. every time. Mm -hmm. I think if you vote, I think your name gets put higher mm. up in the system. It's like, oh, you... You're Take part attention. in the system. We need this voter to come in and juror. Yes. Yeah. So, wow, Jeremy, that's uh, Juror Jeremy. Juror yeah. Jeremy. There we go. Jeremy. Is that a new spinoff? He's going to come back tomorrow as a yes. changed man. Yeah, you're on spinoff for Juror Duty. I'm spinoff of Jury Duty. <laughs> I know, right? Juror Jeremy. <laughs> we need to write like a fun, like, You and 70s, Randall <laughs> can do it together. A fun <laughs> little 70s intro song. <laughs> well, he wakes up every morning, <laughs> and today <laughs> he's <laughs> going <laughs> to do some Jury Duty. I don't know. <laughs> I love it, Jesse. Some, it's workshopped. You know, now, if yeah. they allow me to, I'm going to be posting updates from Jury Duty on my social because that would be fun. Live stream? Live updates. If they'll let me, I'll ask them. I was going to say, I don't uh, think you can do that. I don't think they'll let me, but we'll find out. They're probably. I'll be there. You're making me nervous. I'm going to be I'm in jail. I don't jail. want you to get in trouble, and you're making me nervous. And I'm, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm calling Maddie. Uh, can you do the show tomorrow? I'm in jail. I'm in jail. <laughs> I walk in. For, I also need bail. You know. <laughs> Anyways, bail. Jesse, please. Oh, sure, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just imagine someone walking in to their, you know, a lawyer or something walking into the trial and they look over and they see Jeremy. Oh, like, yeah. Hey. <laughs> 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 our theme's on good times. Good times. Time. Like, I'm ready for this trial. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyhow. Um, <laughs> that, is, that is something else. Okay. Uh, Got to get to this headline. Okay. There's no good segue. NASA's <laughs> Hubble Telescope.
<laughs> captured a supermassive black hole. No, not the one we have going right here right now, but one in space <laughs> that weighs as much as 20 million suns. That's a lot of suns. Right now, it's barreling through the cosmos, leaving a contrail of new stars 200,000 light years long. The black hole moving so fast, it could go from the Earth to the moon in 14 minutes. Likely the result of a strange bumper car style collision between three galaxies 50 million years ago. Just now seeing the results of that. Nothing like it has ever been seen before, NASA says. And the Hubble telescope found it by accident. Fun fact, Hubble telescope, the namesake of Edwin P. Hubble of Marshfield, Missouri. So uh, Ozark's getting a little credit for some of this, I think. Jesse, wow. that wasn't even in the prompter. No, how it wasn't. You, I, how did you know that? <laughs> If, I amaze myself sometimes. I, seriously. Fun facts. So, yeah. I did not uh, know black holes could move. I mean, oh, I, I did actually. Didn't I did. I just thought they were there. And yeah. Then you fell yeah. into them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I really. Everything, yes, everything moves according. <laughs> my to my hope. Producer Jake, everything. Moves. Yeah. Have you ever heard the theory that if you go into a black hole, then you can time travel? That's what I'm hoping. That's that's true. I, I don't oh. know. I hope if I'm I ever a lot fall today. into one, it's like Alice in Wonderland. Oh, oh. yeah. Mm -hmm. A little crazy, but I meet a Mad Hatter. That cat just kind of. <laughs> I don't know about it. That weird no, cat. No, the Cheshire that. cat. That's Ooh, it. Yeah, I don't yeah. know about that. Little I don't creepy. know about that cat. Can I tell you, one of my biggest fears in yes. life is being in outer space. Like yeah, that, that, would be scary. that makes me so scared to be like looking at the Earth where your whole family is, mm -hmm. the whole planet and the population, and then to look to the other side and see nothing but infinite space and blackness. So wait, are you telling me you didn't get Jeff Bezos' invitation? Did to not. Go on his this did you? Is awkward. Jesse, I thought you did. Awkward. Too. I got it. So. <gasps> Ooh. I mean, no, I didn't Have fun. Get it. <laughs> Have fun in space. <laughs> I don't even want to go. Yeah, uh, hope I, know, I can scary. get my vacation approved for that. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, next story here for you. One of the coolest gadgets I've ever seen for environmental cleanliness and all of that. It's called the Waste Shark, oh and goodness. it's combing through the waters of London's Thames River right now. Thames River, sorry. Its creators say the machine is clearing the equivalent of more than 22,000 plastic bottles a day in this little Ooh. contraption here. Measures water quality. The UN data provided on, the, on uh, oceans and things say that 85% of marine litter is some form of plastic, and they estimate by 2050 the amount of plastic in oceans could outweigh the fish. So more <laughs> pounds of plastic than fish, which is hard to imagine. Now, the autonomous water shark, you see it right there. Just pull out the little bin. Uh, and they say that it can travel about three miles before needing to be recharged and can gather about 1,000 pounds of trash before needing to be emptied. But comes at a cost, about $25,000 for one of these babies. But hey, maybe it's good, you know, money well spent there. Uh, Jesse, I need one of these mm -hmm. for my pool after a pool party. Oh, I, I was I'm gonna come over. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> a, you red, have a pool? Just, I've been red, asking no. about pools. I don't really have a pool. You have not offered. No. <laughs> what, this thing's full of red cups. What's right all this here? about? What happened? Yeah. Red soda. No, but cup. I have. <laughs> that <laughs> water shark fill you, you up. up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have some two good friends who have a pool that invite us over in the summertime for pool parties. I think that's And the I'm next saying thing that could be on. helpful. Yeah. Very, very. Things get out of hand, then maybe, you know, drop the 25K and. Yeah. Clean well, it up. Just a casual drop yep. in the bucket. Drop in the bucket. But wait, <laughs> isn't like everything. Like, remember when DVD players came out? You guys probably don't. They were super expensive. <laughs> How dare you? You guys probably don't. <laughs> Try to. Okay, let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase. I remember. remember when cell phones came out and they were all so super expensive, but yes. then the price does mm -hmm. come down. Yeah. So maybe if they make enough of these, the price will come yeah. down and we can save the ocean. I it's a Roomba fall. on water. Oh. Yeah. How I looked at it. So yeah. I like it. If I had $25,000, yeah. I'd got, buy it. Mm -hmm. You guys remember. Water. Water. Wherever. <laughs> remember when Atari <laughs> came out? Remember that? <laughs> Pong? Kong. Life changing. Just what the? All kinds of things. What is it, Atari? No. All right, Tom, what are we looking at for this week? More sunny skies? More sunny skies. Hey, you know what, Jeremy? I do remember when the DVD player came out because I grew up on VHS. Hey! Oh, yay! Same. I think we all did here. Yeah, we're all We did. I had a VHS. Late yeah. 90s, early 2000s, yeah, somewhere that time. Mm -hmm. There I you go. The, the VHS tape you had to put in that would clean your, your VCR yes. with the brushes on it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Do you guys remember doing this to the Nintendo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. all the time. Blow it out, get that dust out. <laughs> Do you ever remember fixing your TV by just hitting the TV? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Mm. Oh, man. <laughs>